Alrighty, here we are on lesson 19, substituting to evaluate addition and subtraction expressions. So you should be on page 4 of your note packet, and we're going to start with the opening exercise. This says, my older sister is exactly 2 years older than I am. Sharing a birthday is both fun and annoying. Every year on her birthday we have a party which is fun, but she always brags that she is 2 years older than I am, which is annoying. Shown below is a table of our ages starting when I was born. So we're looking here when she, um, when the girl that wrote this is zero, when she was born, her sister was two. So that means when she was one, her sister was three. So number one says, looking at the table, what patterns do you see? So if we look first, just going down, we see that they are just adding one for both sides. Going across is going to be a different pattern. And if you look across, they're adding two each time. So that's our pattern for going across. Right, number two says, on the day I turned eight years old, how old was my sister? So if I was eight, and then my sister's two years older, so I add two. So that means my sister was ten years old. And it says, how do you know? We know that we need to add 2. Number 4 says, on the day I turned 16 years old, how old was my sister? So if I was 16 and my sister is 2 years older, I add 2. That means she was 18 years old. How do you know? Again, we need to add 2. Number 6 says, do we need to extend the table to calculate these answers? I don't think I want to write a table that goes all the way down to 16 and 18, so we would just say no. We can just use the pattern. Alright, so for that first example, we were just using patterns that we found. Now if we go on to the back page, we're going to um, use expressions to help us with those patterns. So part A says, oh, and we're looking, this is the same scenario that it was on the front side, same table, but now we have an empty block, bottom row. Part A says, what if you don't know how old I am? Let's use a variable for my age. So Y is going to be my age in years. So this is going to be Y down here. Can you develop an expression? So if you remember from the front, and if you look here, we added two going across every time. So that means if we did the bottom, we'd take our y, and we would add 2. And then it just says to put that in the last row of the table. So that's all we had to do there. Now if we look again at this table, it says how old was I when my sister was 6 years old. So now we're going backwards. So I'm going to make my sister's age g. And now if we're going across to the left... We are subtracting 2 every time, so this would be g minus 2. So if her sister was 6 years old, we'd be taking the 6 minus 2, which is 4, which is also what they have in the table, so that means that she was 4 years old. How old was I when my sister was 15? So if her sister was 15, I'm 2 years younger, I subtract 2, that means I was 13. How do you know? Well, by looking at the pattern on the table, we see that we subtract 2. Alright. Uh, if you look at the table, if you know my sister's age, can you determine my age? Yes. Alright. And we can do that if we use that last question here. Use our variable g. It would be g minus 2. Okay, so now we've gone from looking at patterns to writing expressions that tell us what our patterns are. Alright, so if we're going to go on to the next page, we're going to skip the top part, and we're going to look at where it says exercises. Number one says, Noah and Carter are collecting box tops for their school. They each bring in one per day starting on the first day of school. So underline that one per day. However, Carter had a head start because his aunt sent him fix 15 box tops before school began. Noah's grandma saved 10 box tops, and Noah added those on the first day. 
So on the first day of school, we know that oh, we're missing. Oh, this does say Noah here and Carter. So Noah had 10, but then they add one every day. So that's how they have 11. And Carter has 16. So now if they add one every day, that means this will be 12 going down 13, 14, 15, and then here this would be 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so before we look at part B, let's start to look at our patterns. And I'm going to do them in two different colors. If we look from the school day to the number that Noah has, if we look, we are adding 10 every time. Plus 10. Okay, then if we look from Noah to Carter, we're adding 5 every time. Okay, so we're going to use those now to write our expressions. B says if we let D be the number of days since the school year began, on day D of school, how many box tops will Noah have? So I'm going to extend my table. This is going to be D here. How many box tops does Noah have? We know that you add 10 every time, so this would be D plus 10. So the answer would say D plus 10. On D day of school, how many box tops will Carter have brought to school? So if we're starting on D here, and we're looking, well, if, if you look at the first one to get from 1 to 16, you added 15. If you keep looking, you will add 15 every time. So this would be D plus 15. All right. D says, on day 10 of school, how many box tops will Noah have brought to school? So first we need to make sure we use Noah's expression, which is D plus 10. And we know it's day 10, so that means we're plugging in 10 for D plus 10, and this equals 20, so it would be 20 box tops. All right, and then the last one, E, on day 10 of school, how many box tops will Carter have brought to school? So Carter's expression is D plus 15, and it's day 10, so that means 10 goes in for D plus 15, and this equals 25. So our answer would be 25 box tops. All right, so that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to do this last page in class tomorrow, so you can go ahead and stop right there, and we will pick up on page 7 in class.